the green iguana. Hi, everybody. My name is Leo. I am a junior ranger. And this is my puppy, Hero. Those are juggling balls, Hero. Check me out. Can you pass me another ball, Hero? Thank you. This is getting difficult. Ah! Oh dear. Let's find those balls, Hero. It's a lizard. Whoa, that's a strong tail. I wonder what kind of lizard it is. You know what we should do? Let's take a photo and send it to my sister, Katie. She is also a junior ranger. Smile, lizard. Hi, Katie. I just sent you a photo of a lizard we found in our garden. Hi, Leo. Wow, its skin is so green. Can you find more information about it? Of course I can. Great. See you soon. Hero, you watch over our new friend. I'll be right back. Come on, everybody. Let's go into the treehouse. Hi, Katie. So what did you find about the lizard? Hi, Leo. This lizard is a green iguana, also known as the common iguana. Some green iguanas come in different colors. And they can change their color when they get older. The green iguana you found is still young. An adult iguana can grow up to two meters long. Green iguanas are herbivores. They feed on leafy green plants, flowers, and fruits. Green iguanas can be found in rainforests of Central, South America, and the Caribbean. Green iguanas like to spend most of their time in trees. When they are high up in the tree, they can enjoy the sunlight. Sunlight helps them control their body temperature. Then we should bring our new friend back to the trees in the rainforest. Come and join us. The green iguana would love that, Leo. See you downstairs. For lots of fun and lots to learn One, two, off we go For lots of fun and lots to learn Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky! Hello, Junior Rangers! Welcome to the rainforest! What did you find in your garden this time? Ah, a green iguana! Yes, Ranger Rocky! We want to return it to its natural home we found out that green iguanas like to be high up on a tree. Correct, Katie. The coloring of their bodies helps them to blend into the trees. However, iguanas still have to keep a constant lookout for predators, like hawks, eagles, or snakes. On top of having excellent eyesight to do just that, green iguanas also have a third eye. The third eye of the green iguana is right on top of the iguana's head. It's also known as the parietal eye. The third eye does not see as normal eyes do, but it can sense movement and change of light. The third eye is particularly useful when iguanas are looking out for hawks and eagles that fly above them. What happens when green iguanas encounter their predators? Green iguanas can put up a good fight with their long tails, sharp teeth, and spines on their bodies. Their dewlaps can be raised to make themselves look bigger, too. Unfortunately, green iguanas face other threats. People like to keep them as pets, but most people don't know how to take proper care of them. Many iguanas in captivity die within a year due to a lack of sunlight or proper food. The green iguana belongs on branches high up in the trees, where it can receive enough sunlight and find food to eat. 
To find branches that are high enough for plenty of sunlight, you have to go deeper into the rainforest. Good luck, Junior Rangers! Thank, Thank you, Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky! Let's see what we can find. Here is a patch of short grass. And on this side are branches high up in trees. Do you know where we should go? Over there is a patch of short grass. And over there are branches high up in trees. So where should we go? There? That's right! We need to go to the branches that are high up in trees because green iguanas need to get enough sunlight. Let's go! I think this is a good spot for the green iguana. Enjoy, iguana! Let's hope this is the right place for it. Look up there, Leo! It's a hawk! One of the green iguana's predators! Why is the green iguana not running away? Green iguanas blend well into their surroundings. They will stay very still until a predator passes them by. <laughs> it's too late! Let's use our propellers and distract the hawk. Green Iguana! <coughs> its tail came off! Now let's get away from here! Poor Iguana! Don't worry, Leo. Sometimes Green Iguanas drop their tails when they are trying to escape from a predator. This might help them get away. The Iguana will even grow a new tail. Really? That's great to hear, Katie. Where should we go now? Hello, Junior Rangers. Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky. Green iguanas like to be near water so they can easily jump into it to escape from predators. So if you want to find a home for the green iguana, just look for a tree branch that hangs above water, not for a playful otter or a farmer's daughter. But look for a tree branch that hangs above water. I see. So not for a playful otter or a farmer's daughter, but, but look, look for, for a tree branch, branch that, that hangs above, above water. water. Thank you, Ranger Rocky. OK, Hero, to find a home for the green iguana, you have to look for a tree branch that hangs above water. Good luck. Hero, there are a few dots in your radar. One of them might be a home for the green iguana. Is this a good home for the iguana? It's a branch, but it's above the ground. Let's move on. Is this a tree branch that hangs above water? Hmm, no. These are vines in a tree. So let's continue. What is this? It's a tree branch that hangs above water. You did it, Hero. We're coming over. We found the green iguana's home. Great work, everybody. Yay! Yay! a green iguana in our garden. We learned that green iguanas like to stay high up in trees to enjoy the sunlight. We also learned that green iguanas like to live near water. So when there's danger, they can escape by jumping into the water. Good job, children. You did it. You are amazing wildlife rangers. Mission accomplished. Thank <laughs> you.